I explained to you that when you have the the reactors, the three reactors of the base of the star formation system and has no physical dimension because by creation or understanding of the new technologies we don't need to create containment but it's a plasma with a free boundary there's one secret which many years I wanted to explain and I opened it up because you will understand exactly you have been the most misfortunate man not being Sanya. When you look at the UFO, as you call it, the dream of the dreams of the man to travel this part of the universe, and we always talk about star formation. When we look, and we have seen no other reports, because those who have been through, and I said you can always identify, you see the base of the star formation, the three reactors, the three lights, which are inside, they're not outside, as I explained last time. We never see the fourth one. We only see the physicality of the machine. Because the fourth one is made from the soul of interaction of the whole inhabitants of the system. And as what we call the dimension of the field of the emotion of the man's system, we call it the brain, it creates the physicality of the man, the fourth reactor, which is the emotion of the soul of the man, or the creature, or the structure, which has no light within it, because it's the way it operates in a different dimension, creates a physicality of the craft. The way the physicality of your body is created. In so many ways, today I have given you an insight, understanding why we teach about the star formation and man for centuries, for decades, for whatever, whenever they report seeing a UFO, they see three, which in fact should be four. Where the fourth is the dimension of the emotion of the soul, which in interaction with the three creates the physical boundary of the system, you call it the UFO. So, for the first time you understand the captain of these systems is the collective soul of its inhabitants. Then, if you understood this, and you understand the physiology of the plasma interaction in the universe, you should understand how planet, stars, galaxies and universes give themselves through the dimension of the carbon-14 and 840 and other dimensions, the dimension of existence, dimension of physicality, dimension conformation of it. And if man one day understands this knowledge, one day understands what Mr. Kesh explains as the star formation, but now, up to now, we never understood that when we look at these, you have all But it's the fourth one. If the other three can be seen when they are in, why can't we see the fourth one? Why can't we see the soul of the man? But we see the physicality of the man. Then you understand the secret of creation. When you understand how the Creator has given the man dimension of physicality, being created by the interaction of the soul of the Creator itself. Where the other dimension of the fields create the dimension of existence in interaction of the fields with the soul of the Creator, and then you understand every ray, every condition in that UFO contains every essence of its passengers. Then you understand there is a big difference 
between the craft which man makes from steel and iron and he has limitation of the weight, the UFOs, the physical dimension of the transportation in the universe has no material and has no dimension but is created out of the intention. Then, now you understand how you work, you live, and how the dimension of physicality of the man is created by the interaction of the field of the soul of the man and the dimension of interaction of the fields of the matter states of the environment. Then, if one understand this, one can be passenger of both the dimension of physicality and the dimension of energy, transmutation and the soul, in connection with the transmutation dimension of the soul of the Creator. Maybe, now you understand, when, for decades, I've been explaining, I can tell you which picture is fake, and which picture is true about the UFOs. Those who are fake have no soul. And if they have a soul, you can feel it, you're trained to, you know it's the real. The reality of existence. The way the soul of the man in interaction with the energy fields of the, what we call physical dimension, with interaction with the soul of environments, and the field of environments, leads to the creation of physicality of the man. Without any matter, God does not have a factory building skins and bones and bringing it and sewing it together. It's interaction of the fields which creates the skin of the man, which itself is made of fields. And then you understand why you have carbon-60, as I explained before, why you have interaction of the fields in the dimension of 840, and why you have the connection and the dimension in carbon-12 and 14. Then, if you understand this, if you come close to understand <clears throat> the interaction of the soul of the Creator, which you call hydrogen, in interaction and connection with the carbons of the man, what you call CH bond, creates the dimension of life in any corner of the universe. Mr. Cohen? Then, man should understand the dimension of the physicality of the man is connected to the matter-state interaction fields of its own amino acid. Then, if you understand this, if you become wise to this knowledge, you can manifest yourself in any dimension in the universe, and in collection of your own soul to create the three base and freedom of the soul of the man, you can create your force in the dimension of field of the man. You don't need no prophets and no gods and messengers as liars and cheaters. That's what's made.